I am Chosen Architect. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be talking about OBS software again. Um, this is a follow-up to my last video that I did where I explained how to just record any kind of gameplay videos or capture your desktop or anything like that. Um, today I'm going to be talking about how to record stuff like Minecraft and make it um, run smoothly at 60 frames or 30 frames or uh, any anything that uh, anything like that. So first of all, I'm going to jump right on in to uh, Minecraft. I'm going to change displays just like that. And there I go. All right, we're going to go under the options and we're going to under video settings. And you're going to copy everything that I have set, set up here. Um, just like this, uh, some of the main things you need to focus on is Make sure that this use uh, VSync is turned off. It is a big deal. Uh, it causes a lot of problems with a lot of people if their VSync is uh, turned on. This just adds to another layer of buffering that has to happen. So if that's turned off, that'll help out enormously. All right, under render distance, you'll definitely need to drop this down. By default, this will be jacked way up. So turn this down to about eight, uh, seven. It doesn't really affect anything if it's turned up that high, or turned or turned down that low, I should say. Um, you just won't notice that big of a difference. Um, you can add things like fog that will prevent uh, any issues, like graphical issues. So turn the render distance down, definitely. Uh, definitely between 8 and lower uh, that will help out a lot with your lag problems and give you a higher frame rate. Um, now with your max with your frame rate settings you'll need to adjust this and definitely turn that all the way up to maximum uh, set that to unlimited so it'll just run as high as possible. Um, with this OBS software it has no problem with you you running like a 300 frames per second it doesn't it doesn't cause any problems doesn't cause any lag nothing like that you'll continue to run 300 frames while the recording software only records at 60 frames so you shouldn't have any problems there and it should look great all right now all these other settings you can turn off now here's a, a thing that i uh, definitely need to look at full screen is off and i do that because i'm recording at 720p now with me running at 720p let's just go over this right here all right, so um, I'm going to pull up my Minecraft window uh, or folder. I'm going to go under options, which should be there. Um, and it'll be under options wherever you're at. All right, and I'm editing it in Notepad++, Notepad++ which works out for me. You can use Notepad or whatever you need to do. But under line 33 or 34, you need to look for override width and override height. And you're going to change that to uh, 1280 or 720. Or... If you're going to record at 1080, you can do that too, or you can just full screen it. But I recommend using window mode because uh, it lets you have more desktop space available. Um, but that's just what I do. You can do whatever you want to do. It's all up to you. Um, all right, so the next step, um, under settings, on the last video I showed you, I'm going to go ahead and try my settings and see if it doesn't stop my recording. All right, so what will happen is you'll go under video settings. And since it says I'm actually currently running, uh, I set my base canvas. I had to type it in manually to 1280 by 720 because last time I recorded in 1080. Uh, this time, and I also set my output scale to match the base canvas size. And I have my frame rate set to 60. And same with my uh, recording. That's all set up the same as it was. Um, everything's perfectly fine. Same with my audio. So everything should be just fine. All right. Now, one last thing I want to go over, and that will be, say, you want to record your Xbox One or you have a webcam or anything like that. How you do that is you add, and you can add images. So if you want to add an overlay, it's so easy to do. You create your overlay, say, in Photoshop or find one on the line, online, uh, anywhere, and you can just add that. Say it's a PNG file, you can just go ahead and add that on top, and uh, it'll have a transparent background, and you can put that right on top of whatever you need. You can add source media, um, which is, I think, like a video or stuff like that. Um, you can add text, and there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with the text. You can have it scrolling across your screen. You can do whatever you need to do with that. Display capture, which is what we're doing right now. Window capture is, uh, say, with the, the Minecraft open right here, you can just capture the window. 
just like we did. Game capture, which is what we did uh, with our Minecraft. You can use that for anything that goes full screen. But just remember, it has to be open first. Um, it can be minimized, and it'll still it'll still work. So it just needs to be open for it to recognize it. Um, and then you have video capture device, which is like my Elgato for my uh, Xbox One or for my webcam, which I use when I stream. So um, when you do add that, you just, in, you need to be running Windows or need to be running this uh, OBS in Windows 32-bit version. So you need to make sure to go in your, I think it's x86 folder and make sure you create a shortcut for that one. <clears throat> because I think by uh, just automatically it'll create a 64-bit version. So I recommend using 32-bit because it'll give you access to your your input device for the Xbox One, for the Elgato, and for whatever. I, I keep saying Xbox One, but for your PS3, PS3, Xbox 360, Xbox One, any anything you're planning on capturing will work. But you have to be using the 32-bit version. All right, and uh, you can also, like I said last time, which I was wrong. Uh, how you can only have three audio devices. I was wrong. You can actually have as many as you want because here is audio input capture devices and uh, audio output capture devices. So you can you can add as many as you want just straight off of there. And you keep adding it into your sources file. Um, you can create other scenes uh, if you need be for different situations. So if you want one just for Minecraft, you can set it up that way. I just set mine up like this because it makes it easier for me just to click in and out of stuff um, and have it all in the same mixer. So, if I want to jump into Minecraft, I'm in Minecraft right now. If I want to back, hop back in, I'm back out on my desktop. So, I hope this really helped you guys, and uh, I kept this one a lot shorter than the last uh, video. The last video went for like 20-something minutes long. So, this one's going to be nice and short, and uh, should be should be right on your way to recording some really nice, crisp-looking uh, Minecraft videos and keeping your frame rate right where it should be and uh, don't have any glitching or or uh, lag or anything like that so if you guys like this video don't forget to click that like button and also subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video later